I got some great feedback from folks who watched the video about taking small, consistent gains, and they thought I was being kind of sarcastic, and it's certainly, sarcasm is a poor man's wit. I don't have to waste my time with that bullshit here. The point being, though, is that if you do have a small account and you take a 1% gain, I get it. It's going to be a small dollar value. Here's the thing, though, is that people were creatures of habits. Your trading rules are nothing but a, a, a paradigm, right? It's a set of habits that you follow. And so what you don't want to do is get used to taking small gains because then you can get comfortable there. And then when, you're, when you're, you're spending all this time basically churning your own account because your gains don't ever cover all your costs and your losses. So people say different things like treading water, this and that, grinding. Again, you have to be careful of the language that you use because words have, words have power. Words have a lot of meaning. And so just be aware that your trading rules from your entries, your exits, your position sizing, where do you put your protective stops? How do you know to look for reversals, you know, to take your winners, for example, that becomes habitual and that's a good thing. However, that's why you want to think percentage terms because if you're, if you're trading like these smaller contracts, these micro contracts, feeling good about yourself taking, you know, $100 out of a trade, sure, when I was working as a golf caddy, I, I would, you know, that was a lot of money to me in those days. But you have to understand that this is not a blue collar job, it's white collar job. And the more that you can learn to sit on your hands and stay out of your own way and let your winners run, you'd be surprised how many of those $100 winners can turn into $300 winners, all by just not affecting the trade to offset the risk. So tomorrow we're going to talk about overnight risk over the weekend risk. But for now, I want you to understand that Everything that you do is somehow deliberate. Even if you don't know why you're doing it, it's coming out of your subconscious. So be mindful of the gains that you're taking because you get, get super comfortable taking small gains. And, and that's, if that's the case, your account balance is just never going to grow. It's going to take years. Or you're going to have to you know, endow your account with frequent contributions. There's nothing wrong with that. But just be mindful about what you decide to do because it's intentional, right? Intentions equal results. So you want to make sure that you have bigger horizons for yourself and that you love yourself enough to exact as much as you possibly can out of this because that's what the competition's doing, right? So imagine you're at a job interview and someone asks you to describe, you know, your trading process and how do you take winners? Record that into your phone because everyone has a microphone now. Record that into the phone and play it back to yourself. See what it sounds like. Is it convincing? Do you, would you allocate money to this person? Right? Anyway, check it out.